today we're we're fixing stuff we broke and when i say we i mean me stuff that i broke now if you're unfamiliar 2008 5500 i do have a load leash engine weeper brake system on here works in conjunction with an exhaust brake that thing is the biggest game changer when it comes to safe towing that i've ever experienced right there that thing is money I did uh, upgrade the head studs to this thing since I've been throwing a little bit of power at it a while back. I put ARP 425s on it. Uh, they, uh, there was some alteration needed to go down to make those happen. That's not the problem here today. We'll go over the list right here. That is your stock 425 head stud. That is an altered one to accommodate the load leash. These are 425s, not 625s. That right there is a head bolt from pack brake that is what holds down the load leash it's got a stud on the top and well that's a, a miniaturized pack brake head stud bolt slash combo that is what broke on me right there and when i say it broke i mean i was tightening and tightening and tightening nothing seemed to happen and these chintzy little nuts they give you it's only supposed to go for 27 foot pounds which isn't really that big a deal but i think my torque wrench is just it was having a, a field day with me so i stripped out one of these and then i was like you know what we got some upgrades so this is actually a bar nut that holds the chainsaw bar on same thread and everything except for it's just a taller i had stripped one of those out when i installed it one of the stock ones and replaced one of these on there with a the big guy no nope, no problems so I was torquing, started feeling a little tight, and then I heard, she popped. And this is what we have to replace it. This is the, oh, I had no idea they were gonna be this expensive. I didn't know about these when I did the head studs the first time, but these are Pack Break Signature brand stuff right here, but they are ARP. These things, I had to get them straight from Pack Break. I couldn't get them anywhere else, but you can see right there, 625 stud. These are the heavy duty monies, and they have the Pack Break accommodator on the top. 150 foot pounds torque the head down with these and then the same 27 foot pounds for that I have a different torque wrench this round so we're gonna go ahead and snatch those out and put these expensive ones on there uh, that's a Benny that's a Benny and that's a Benny ballpark that's a bunch of Bennies with shipping that's a bunch of Bennies right there when I say Bennies I mean Benjamin Franklin as in the Huntskies as in holy crap those are expensive that cost as much as a whole set of damn near of uh, 425s no more talking let's go ahead and get this thing installed Okay guys, so I got them all in there. I got them torqued to about 140 foot pounds. Uh, you can see they're about one thread count short on the nut. I tried to find a happy medium for going into the block and the nut. I'd rather mess up the nut than the block and have to mess up something inside deeper than I would really even care to think about. But you can see I got these ones filed down right here. Those are 425 so they won't interfere with a load leash. And that's how I got it right here. Rather than have them sticking up, they got these things short enough so you don't have to modify them. Next step is I did the valve lash the other day. I'll cut to that clip right now and show you guys how to do a quick valve lash adjustment and easy trip tips on that one real quick. But as it sits, it is on valve overlap on number one. So to adjust the pack brake, you'll need it set as this way. And number six is loose on both rocker arms. So you'll do number six, four, and two are all loose. And those are the ones you're gonna adjust for your load leash because the valves are free. And then you will Rotate the engine 360 degrees and do the same thing in the opposite direction. So I'll go ahead and cut to the other thing so you guys can see how to do the valve lash real quick. I had a question about that before, filmed it for you. And by the time you guys are back from that one, oh, we'll have the load leash back on there and we'll start doing 
fingers crossed on that torque, we'll start doing the adjustment process. Now I did go to a trade school. I went to Wyotech. I took diesel, advanced diesel, and yeah, I did okay there. Not really a big fan of doing this kind of work full time, but one of the classes was six weeks long and was all engine maintenance like this, all adjusting valve lash, injectors, um, jake brakes and all that stuff. And they had several 12 valve Cummins's there and they had a 24 valve for doing adjustments on like this. And I could tell every time somebody would do a valve lash adjustment on a 12 valve, um, I could tell the difference every time somebody did the lash on one of these. It all comes down to you know how much attention to detail when you're tightening down your locking nut and all that stuff makes it a better sound cleaner running engine the valve lash is very important now all these like i said you do all the valves when i took all the rocker arms off and put studs on this engine now right now i'm not going to pop anything loose i'm just going to go through i have my feeler gauges set and we're going to go through and check each one of them but valve lash is very important and uh another trick is i have it on right now so on valve overlap on number 601 is completely freed up on both intake and exhaust. So I'll be able to do intake on one, two, and four, and exhaust on one, three, and five. And then rotate the engine 360 degrees, and I'll be able to do the same thing, but the opposite direction. So we'll get the we'll get to checking these real quick. I found it in my experience to have the feeler gauges a little bit on the tighter side when you're doing these. When you're torquing it down the way it's got good tension when you pull it out of there and it's almost difficult to get these back in there. Let's try the exhaust one first. I might have to go got them a little tight last round. Exhaust feels just right intake is a little bit tight on this one so we'll pan over and try the exhaust on number three that one you can see how easily that one is to move around that's ideal but it's not i mean i would like to have a little bit more tension pulling it off there than that but that is completely in spec so we'll go back to the back one here hopefully you guys can see that one and check number five now, number five is significantly looser, so I am good, definitely going to readjust that one. Let's go through and check my intakes, see if I can get any of those to go. There we go. That one feels, it's got some good tension on it. That one's not bad at all right there. Number one feels good. We'll check number two here. Okay, so as it sits right now, number one is perfectly fine. Number four is fine. Number two is a little bit on the tight side, but I don't think it's anything I need to worry about. I can get this thing in there, but she's still nice and snug. Uh, exhaust on number one is good. Number three is good, but number five needs to be readjusted because it is a little bit loose. This thing slides in there way too easily. So I wanna tighten that up and uh, we'll bar it over and check the other side. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed a little summary on how to adjust your valves. Now we're gonna adjust the load leash here. First thing is you gotta bust all these off and they call for a specialty wrench. This comes with your kit. I lost my Allen. Because out works, you gotta double check, make sure that in fact that valve is closed all the way. Back off the locking nut so you make sure that thing's not interfering. And you go down until it touches, touching right there. And you back off one half turn, and that gives the lash.
Now that calls for 31 foot pounds of torquing on that guy. I'll recheck the LDs with the torque wrench. But in lump sum, that's how you do that. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of these. So I'm, I'm reading the comments from today's video, uh, towing with the new truck through the canyon. <laughs> Somebody asked what part of California I was in, in old Dixie May. Everybody seems to know who Dixie May is. He comments every time, everywhere. He said Mexico. I about died laughing with that one. We're in Mexico when the hood is popped, when it's the hood's closed. We're in Northern California, uh, Nevada County area, if anybody was still curious. Uh, one thing I want to mention, a lot of people have been contacting me about you know truck questions and stuff like that a lot of people just dm me or just asking on here that's totally fine i'm okay with that uh if you're trying to track me down and get my phone number uh give me a warning you know i'm not so much uh pretty busy all the time phone calls they eat up a lot of my day so uh if you guys want to ask some questions just dm me on instagram i leave my instagram at the end and you guys can ask me questions there or just ask them here if i can't answer them or if i miss a comment somebody else hopefully we can uh, help you with that but the truck is all back together again what i've done on it so far this trip in here was one of the final upgrades that i had planned on doing and i put the double barrel fast coolers on there but it was still rainy at the time so i figured what the heck i'll go underneath the hood i wanted to double check the adjustments on the load leash i wanted to make sure all that was good uh you know make sure it was working to you know top notch and well where's that little thing at this is what i did right here that little guy busted her off uh i think the torque wrench was actually fine but it was just too low on its scale so i just got a different torque wrench that had a lower variation and it had no problem torque the new ones on there the arp head studs were the exact same so i just got a I just cleaned up all my mess underneath here. I'm trying to get an actual shop. It's There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes going on. Uh, but this thing is it's holding it down right now, except for when it's just so much of a downpour, it runs down the driveway and runs right in here. Can't do nothing about it. But it's keeping my head dry, so that's okay. This thing is a little champ. Freaking stoked on that thing. Little wobble on the end of it. It gets her done good. But all my tools are put away. The truck is still on jacks because I lifted it up so I could work on the transmission coolers. Other than that, she's all buttoned up back ready to rock and roll. So, did the valve check. Inspected everything else underneath there. Just wanted to go over everything. Give it one final test run. And EGT probe is always in the way, it seems like. But I'm going to get the thing off the jacks. We'll take it for a quick rip. Run up to Grandpa's. We're gonna work on the Mustang a little bit more today, or the Fastback, sorry. Uh, then we'll see how she rips. Tighten up the valve latch just ever so slightly, so it should, it should have a little bit. I'm gonna say every valve latch, like I said, you can make quite a bit of difference with it. Let's go ahead and get this thing off the jacks. Next thing, we'll fire it up and drive up the road. test rip got to run to the bank and a couple other errands but one thing i forgot to mention is i got a new throttle pedal which means that's the whole assembly's uh, throttle is throttle pedal is the uh, tps and all of that and just one unit now or for this one anyway i don't know what the new ones would call for so we'll see how that affects the exhaust brake is uh, according to the data log before was showing that as if I were tapping on the throttle type of a thing. So maybe there's a short and the old throttle pedal was going out or something. But one thing
when the exhaust brake is working, it's working good. It feels exactly like my new truck. Uh, as far as top end power, low end, and all that good stuff. And we have the fast coolers on here. And another thing I wanted to point out is, yep, yeah, got the center console down just for you guys. I never ride with that thing down, but it makes you guys happy. Let's dry a little bit of it. Also, another thing to make you guys happy, somebody commented it and I told them I'd do it. Let's clean my truck. Yep. Vacuumed it out. Even dusted it. Hope you guys are happy with that. I'm trying to impress you. Let's see how good this exhaust brake works with the new pedal. Seems to be working fine. Of course, you never know until you get a trailer behind it. And by the way, the 5500 brakes are uh, holy crap good when the truck is empty. Everything else is feeling good. Oh, I gotta test the load leash. Yep, load leash is working good. It almost felt a little sluggish after I did the head stud, so I was wondering if it was a little bit out of check. You can actually hear it now, so I think it was just a little bit off. Thousands count and stuff like that. With your valve lash, stuff counts. Uh, the truck, sounds like it's running a little bit smoother too, so just tightening up a couple of those valves. I know it sounds silly, but that's all load leash right there, if you guys can hear that. I did make a video a while back with the camera by the exhaust and it sounds like a miniature jig brake. Not quite, but it has a good tone to it. So that thing's definitely working better. The truck valve train sounds a little quieter. It's running a little bit smoother. Thousands matter, I tell you. So when you're doing your valve lash adjustment on your own truck, take your time, get her nice and right. The guy's got his goofy stuff. No, no, we're going, dude. I was here on the right. That guy tried cutting everybody off right there. All right, let's test the exhaust brake down this hill. That'll play ball. Comment below if you guys like seeing me just drive around some daily life activity stuff. Almost feel silly just driving around talking, doing my normal thing. But if you guys like it, shoot, I'll make a video about it. No biggie. I definitely like driving this truck though. If suspension is a little bit softer on this rig, oh, this truck would be freaking sweet. That already is pretty sweet. Feels nice having to clean though. This truck's 11 years old. Check the mileage on it. I've been saying 57 for a while. Let's see what it made it to. Oh, it's not not at 57. Almost 57. Another 24 miles. It'll be at 57,000 on this truck. Steering's tight and everything. It feels like a brand new truck. Going in and out of gear with a dual disc is still a little bit kind of a pain. Top out and check to see if it's got any leaks. Looking splendid. All right, so current status of the truck, it is it's doing pretty good. I got a couple of things I'm gonna need to update you guys on performance wise while I'm towing. Daily driving, the truck, I mean, the truck feels like a truck just driving around, you can't really tell. It drags itself around just fine. We'll see how it actually does with the trailer. That's where the real tests lie. Got the new intake horn, new Banks Monster Ram. Got the transmission coolers, and we'll see how good the exhaust brake does with uh, the new pedal. Everything seemed like it was working just fine. It didn't have any hiccups. Exhaust brake plus the load leash. Load leash seems like it's doing better now that I did the uh, little bit of tweaking. Uh, Redialed everything. Truck's running smoother. It's starting a little bit easier with the valve lash adjustment, so thousands count. That is definitely a fact right there. 
Uh, everything else on the truck is seem like it's gonna be doing just fine. I'm gonna have another, got to tow another machine or maybe two out to that bigger job I showed you guys towing with the new truck the other day when this one was down. So we'll have some good test results to come from that. I think new truck's got some good power, but I, I think this truck in general towing wise, it's gonna smoke it. Uh, I certainly hope so. There's a lot of dollars under the hood of this truck. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna go inside and work on that Mustang. Try getting that thing knocked off the list 100%. Hit them buttons, like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to share this video. And uh, yeah, all that all good stuff. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.